All right, so 1.12 and 1.13 I combined because they kind of go together. 1.12 is super short. Um, so what 1.12 is saying is um, take a quantum system with three states, A1, A2, and A3, and show the different relations. So show the orthogonality relations, the uh, normalization um, relations, and the completeness. So uh, all that saying is just like when we had um, the plus and minus, we can show that these two are orthogonal um, by saying that if you do plus and minus, that's going to be zero. And minus and plus is going to be zero. All right, so same thing with this system of three different states. We have A1, A2, and A3. Um, so we know that A1, inner product with A2, if these are orthogonal, which they should be because these are all uh, basis states, uh, will be zero. And A1 and A3 will be zero. And A2 and, I just do, <laughs> A2 and A3 will be uh, zero. So there's all the combinations. Um, you could reverse them also with the same thing. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the orthogonality relationships. Um, the normalization relationships is if you inner product anything with itself, if it's normalized, then you should get one. So A1, inner product with A1 is one. A2, inner product with A2 uh, equals one. And A3, inner product with A3 is equal to one. Um, the completeness is um, saying that if you have a state for this system, in order for it to be complete, um, you would want there to be all three of those states uh, in there, which is going to be A1 plus A2 plus uh, A3. And, uh, and you can kind of show it that way, the some superposition of all three. Uh, and that would be the, that would be completeness. Okay, so um, now for 1.13, same system, this A1, A2, A3, um, it says to write these cats in matrix form. So we have these cats like uh, A1, um, and to write that in matrix form, we could do, we know that there's going to be three states. So A1, we can choose the top one to be a 1 and 0, 0, so 1, 0, 0. Uh, a2 is going to be 0, 1, 0, and A3 is going to be uh, 0, 0, 1. I probably should put this somewhere. I'll put it up here. I'm probably going to need these again. A1 equals 1, 0, 0. A2 equals one, or 0, 1, 0. And A3 equals 0, 0, 1. Okay, so those are our three matrices. Um, then part B, uh, we're given this state right here, and we want to calculate the probabilities in matrix notation. So, um, I don't know, it might be a little bit small, but uh, this is 1A1 minus 2A2 plus 5A3. Um, and this is not normalized. So we can see if we were to square each term and add them up, uh, this would be uh, 25 plus 4 would be 29, plus 1 would be 30. It's not 1. So we do need to normalize this, and we'll go ahead and normalize this in matrix form. I haven't done that in any videos yet, so we'll do that. Um, so this uh, state right here in matrix form is going to be uh, 1, negative 2, and 5. So we'll go ahead and normalize that, and again, we're going to um, inner product that with itself because we know that that should be one. If it is normalized, then it would be one. Um, so uh, let's do that. So the bra, uh, when you when you're in matrix form, when you do the bra, that turns into a row vector. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and add a normalization constant to this. We know we're going to need to normalize it. So let's do the bra. So complex conjugate the C, because it could be complex. And then again, it's going to be a row vector. So 1, negative 2, and 5. All right, that's, that's going to be multiplied with the ket, which is just this right here. So C 
1, negative 2, and 5. All right, and then so we can just do some matrix multiplication. First, we'll pull these C's out, and we'll have uh, C star C. And then we're going to have uh, 1 times 1 is 1, uh, plus 2, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, so plus 4. And then 5 times 5 is 25, so plus 25. And again, this should equal 1. Uh, so then 1 equals uh, C squared times uh, 25 plus 4 plus 1 is going to be 30. And C squared equals 1 over 30. And C is going to equal 1 over root 30. So that's going to be our normalization constant. So, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and erase this for now. So then normalize, this is going to be equal to uh, 1 over root 30, negative 2 over root 30, and 5 over root 30. Okay. Um, and let's see. Seeing if that um, this radical could simplify. Um, not seeing anything obvious, so I'll leave it in that form. And don't need this anymore. Okay, so uh, now that it's normalized, now we can get the probabilities for the different states here. So um, let's start off with um, A1. And because we're getting probabilities, we're going to square this. Um, so we have our bra for our A1, and our A1 again is right here. So it's going to be the bra, so we're going to. Uh, make it into a row vector, so 1, 0, 0, multiplied with our normalized state right here. 1 over root 30, negative 2 over root 30, and 5 over root 30. Okay, um, this will end up being squared. Now we can see that we're going to keep our 1 over root 30, 1 over root 30, um, and that's going to be it. So negative 2 over root 30 times 0 is 0, and this term times 0 is 0. Uh, so this is going to be uh, 1 over 30. So the um, for our first state, let's do um, A1, 1. So it's going to be A1 for our first, first state. We're going to do another one of these states. Um, it's going to be 1 over 30. Okay. Now we're going to do A2. And A2, uh, we got the one in the middle, so 0, 1, 0. And you could probably get the, um, uh, get the feeling for what's going to be happening here. So uh, first term, we dump out. Last term, we dump out. We just take the middle one, so negative 2 over root 30. And we're going to square that, and that's going to become so A2, for the first one, is going to be uh, 4 over 30. Um, or that simplifies down to 2 over 15. So 2 over 15. All right. Um, and then lastly, we have our 0, 0, 1 for our A3. And that's going to be our 5 over root 30 squared, which is going to give us A3. Our first state is going to be 25 over 30, uh, which is, let's see, 5, 5, 6. Is that math right? 5. Okay. So those are the probabilities for the three states. Uh, for that's um, B. And now C, we have a different state here. So uh, let's get rid of this for right now. Um, so our psi 2 is going to be equal to, let's put it in matrix form right here. So we have 2a1 plus 3i a2. Um, but remember, there are three basis states. So we still have to remember that there is an a3. This can't be a, um, a two row vector. It has to be a three row ve uh, vector. So this is going to be 2, 3i, and 0. 
Uh, if we do a quick normalization check, if we do 2 squared plus 3 squared, that is not 1. Uh, so we're going to need to normalize this. So go ahead and normalize this. Uh, should be 1 if it's normalized. And we will do a uh, complex conjugate bra state would be C star 2, 3i, and 0. And C, 2, 3i, and 0. All right, so we'll pull out our C's. We'll have C squared times, we have 2 times 2 is 4, uh, plus uh, 9i squared. Um, and yeah, plus 0. So 9i squared is going to flip the signs. Uh, and this should equal 1. And so we'll have um, negative 5. Um, so C, okay, C squared is going to be equal to uh, negative 1 over uh, 5. Um, but this. I believe um, it would be C is equal to uh, what, I 1 over root 5. Um, but I don't think we need that I. Let me go check real quick uh, for that before I lead in the wrong direction. Um, Oh, you know what? I did something silly, didn't I? Um, okay. I don't work in matrix form very often, so um, this is supernatural for me to going from cats to bras. Um, but in matrix form, I forgot something. So um, when we have the bra of itself, so we're, we're interproducting it with itself here. Um, and so when we get the bra of this, and turn it into a row vector, we also need to complex conjugate that. So that turns into a negative 3i. That's why I've never seen a negative number before. Um, okay, so c squared. And now we have 2 times 2 is 4, um, minus 9i squared. That looks better. Um, and then we have 1 equals uh, c squared. Uh, this is going to be plus 9. The signs will flip. And then we have 13. Um, and then that's going to end up being uh, c is equal to 1 over root 13. Um, so that looks better. And then we'll have uh, 2 over root 13, 3i over root 13. And that will be our normalized vector there. OK, so now we can get our probabilities. And so let's do a 1 first. And so a1 is going to be, we will square this. A1 is going to be 1, 0, 0. And here's our state here, 2 over root 13, add more. Uh, 3i over root 13, and 0. All right, so we keep the 2 over root 13, square it. And so our a, um, a1 for our second state is going to be 4 over 13 probability. Um, and 2, 0, 1, 0. And we'll have 3i over root 13 um, squared. And don't forget to complex conjugate. So that would be 3i over root 13 uh, times negative 3i over root 13. Um, the i squares will flip the sign and will be uh, at 9 over 13. So a2 for our second state is equal to 9 thirteenths. Um, and it's like 4 thirteenths and 9 thirteenths are kind of it already. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at a3, uh, which would be 0, 0, 1. Um, so we get 0 there, 0 there, and 0 there. So then we'd have 0 squared, which is going to be 0. So 
uh, a3 for our second state would be zero. All right, and that is it for 12 and 13. Sorry about that, forgetting the negative i part, um, but moving on to 14, which might be the last question in this chapter. Uh, it might be 15, we'll see. Almost there though. <laughs>